Hello beautiful earth angels, soul tribe family, welcome back to another reading, a channeled message for you, the multi-dimensional beings, the rising souls of the collectives and the dimensional travelers. So welcome back to your reading. Today we have a very very beautiful, 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 literally beautiful message and um, from a specific deity that has been working with you or is about to begin working with you at a deeper level they are trying to communicate with you maybe you've already channeled them or know that you work with them or maybe they are inviting you to be aware of their presence in your life and you know what this is about is going to be giving you synchronicities in the physical realm that you could be witnessing because of this uh, spirit guide, this new guide working with you at a deeper level and it's also going to be getting into what areas this is about and what changes that you might notice in your physical reality as well. So really really divine, really beautiful. Um, we're dedicated to her in this reading with the greens, the greens, the greens, the greens. Um, so this deity that came through and was channeling with me was Aphrodite how stunning i just can't even put into words how beautiful this experience was you guys and it was when i was doing my nails and it specifically i was putting gold foil in with some rise uh dried rose petal leaves that i pressed myself so she works with flowers she works with gold energies and how she was also coming through was bringing symbolism and imagery in my mind's eye of big emerald gemstones and emerald necklace pieces um just the color green in general in that very foresty green right way she seems really connected to and um yeah so we're going to be getting into all the little points and messages about this she was also giving me a card in my mind's eye from a deck that I have that is pertaining and related to this message and this is called the butterfly spirit of transformation so she's also connected to butterflies pearls clamshells the oceanic energies mermaid type of energies blue butterfly spirits purple butterfly energies and um, the number eight could be significant. It's actually the eighth today, so interesting. She could come through for you today or something could be uh, taking place today that has her hand to play in this. So obviously she was coming through with this message of, of course, she is the kind of goddess of love, fertility, beauty, right? Um, but she was coming through saying to me like she's so much more than that as well that a lot of people not you guys but just in the earthly plane a lot of people you know kind of uh perceive her in such a way of just being like love and these beauty things on the surface level which she is a part of too but she carries out such an important role she was saying in the collective working with mother gaia in the fact that she brings life fertility and beauty she is responsible for helping bloom the flowers when coming into spring her energy blesses mother gaia with divine venus energy and love which is all of those beautiful blossoming flowers and beautiful butterflies and insects that come to life in the spring and summer she was telling me that you guys here on my channel are beings who are extremely extremely closely connected with the earth energies of mother gaia meaning that you work in tandem with mother gaia and mother gaia works with you underneath her angel wings too and so does aphrodite in a sense that yes she blooms and works with the earth um, in its blooming it's coming into bloom into spring but you guys are also correlating with the energies of, of mirroring the energies of mother gaia through her season so in winter you guys do a lot of soul retrieval work inner work and replenishing and you know resting and in inward kind of traveling and reflection she's saying that you guys mirror the seasons in a way that as you come into spring she's not only responsible for blooming all these beautiful flowers in the spring reality like in the earth reality but also loads of blooming beautiful venus energy within your life right so we're going to get a bit into what that is going to be about what areas that surrounds but 
yeah she is very much a part of mother nature and has a big hand to play in the seasons um so beautiful 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 she she's very closely connected to mother gaia and works with mother gaia energy very very closely as well aphrodite venus right venus could be something significant i'm also hearing morning star or um star energy moon energy she is connected in a way of how, like flowers so you guys you could press flowers like i do or someone like buys flowers bunches a lot ha likes to have flowers in their house someone could love gardening a side little note for that you guys is that she is also gifting you with this longevity of life in a sense to your plants so if you do buy flowers she's making sure to cleanse the energy in your space to make your plants live longer you know how plants sometimes die when there's a lot of negative energy they die very quickly like flowers in vases die very quickly when they're surrounded by a lot of negative energies or stagnant energies and spaces you guys have a very beautiful beautiful energetic aura and that affects your space and she's saying that she does help provide you guys with longevity with your plants for whoever that's for um you know within your house or or outside your house with your flowers in your gardening and she's specifically saying something about this spring or this summer um, that she's working with you in your garden now whether this is physical or metaphorical right she's working with you in a sacred garden space of what you're nurturing what you're growing so this can also be within business and and other areas too what something that you're nurturing anything that you're nurturing and growing and taking care of with that motherly energy she is going to be helping you out with that so she's bringing you into bloom with the seasons with the trees with the flowers how beautiful when um yeah this card came through because I told you when she was channeling, um, saying like she's so much more than just like surface level love and beauty, which is still part of this message, right? But she said she's also the spirit of transformation. She bestows transformation upon the earth and upon the beings who are connected to her. So this transformation she's bestowing with you is very connected to specific areas like creativity, your passions, uh, your love interests, whether that's like friendship or romantic, like guiding you to healing and the right people and, and situations. She is opening you up in some type of way for transformation. And this is too in your physical reality. She's very connected to um like certain physical things like we were talking about with aesthetics and okay let's say clothes let's say hair let's say makeup let's say jewelry right whether you are a female or a male she's very closely connected to this kind of venus energy in a way of like the arts expression and divine expression so she could be helping you go through some type of transformation in a way that maybe you guys are going through some type of outer 3d identity shift uh, you could be dyeing your hair changing your hair you could be changing the way you express yourself whether that's physically right the way that you dress or whether that is creatively within a creative path or pursuit that you do right so any fields of creation in the arts or anything like that she works with you in those areas to deepen your um, skill set by connecting you deeper with venusian energy you guys are also connected to the venu the venusians the i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but the star seed beings that come from venus the the venusians right or the venus yeah yeah you you get what i mean but yeah she's very closely connected to working with those beings um so yeah this is like the the pearl is is formed right like the the butterfly is ready to come out of the cocoon the pearl is formed as you guys move into the seasons you bloom with mother gaia in her springs this could be some type of transformation in a way of like a level up of some kind like an expansion of some kind um i'm getting through like many things here like travel um enjoyment okay so her energy is also blessing your life in many ways where she's blooming flowers of the vibration of love right peace and enjoyment 
So this is also like spending time with family, being involved in beautiful activities, you know, being near the beach, being in nature, like these experiences and situations that feel very connected, peaceful, relaxed and enjoyable, you know, um, like letting your hair down type of vibes, like really enjoyment energy, not purpose, so to speak, but uh, letting your hair down a bit. So bringing this type of ease energy into your life as well. So she is connected with golden energy too. And also maybe some like jewelry. Some of you could have emerald rings or emerald necklace or like a gemstone necklace or something like this. He's closely connected with Greece. I was getting Greece come through so strong for you guys. Someone could be going to Greece this year or have been to Greece before and felt very connected to that place or that you have ties, soul ties, from past incarnation to Greece because this was all con connecting together. There's actually another channel message that's connected to this but very different message about it. So she's very connected to ancient Greece and a lot about Greek mythology was coming through in a sense that um, you know like many other you guys could work or have worked with other uh, Greek deities or gods or goddesses or channeled them or you are in close connection with them because of your soul ties in some sense in past incarnations things like this you guys are closely working with Aphrodite and I also was getting Zeus and Poseidon as well come through and Achilles which um yeah he came through in another reading as well so that is specific message for somebody. Those marble statue symbols coming through as synchronicities that you could be seeing. Synchronicities tied to her are pearls, shells, um, you know, gems, jewelry, opulent type of golds and and um, you know antique type of energies. Also, like the synchronicity of like hair for some reason could be connected to you or just in general. Uh, like really long flowy hair or just like your hair health improving maybe something to do with a transformation in your physical body um, bringing in more of this Venus energy life force energy into you she's connected with also uh, the Greek times in a sense that um you know, yeah, I was getting through like the marble statues, like very beautiful, aesthetically pleasing marble carvings and paintings and music and arts and things like that. So celebration um, of some kind like birthdays, someone's birthday could be coming up soon or a, a wedding or a celebration of some kind. This could be someone else's birthday or someone else's celebration or, or wedding or yours, right? So she's like very much um, blessed blessing the collective as we go into this beautiful spring summer seasons. She's also bringing through and pulling forward this energy of water, mermaids, uh, connected with the ocean, oceanic energies, oceanic beings, like we said, like the clamshells, the pearls, um, very beautiful flowy Venus energy. I'm trying to think if there's any other messages. So yeah, look out for butterflies, white butterflies, blue butterflies, or this kind of crystal energy, like it's reminding me of fluorite, like um, uh, kind of green to blue to purple hues, um, obviously emerald green as well. So she's really working to bloom certain areas of your life that are coming into transformation and are ready to come out of dormancy. There's certain inner aspects of you that are coming out of dormancy with help of her energy in your life. This is also like upgrading spaces, like decorating spaces that she could be ma carrying out manifestations for you. They're adding really beautiful energies surrounding you, your, your home or your gardens or the places that you're going to be in and visiting like I said um, she's divinely guiding more beautiful energies into your life of celebration and letting go connecting harmony peace things like that like warm sunny beautiful energy that she's bringing to you guys big big transformation oh, uh, message I forgot to say that was actually significant also just a side note crystals that you work with rose quartz things like that emeralds rubies as well oh oh and someone works with diamond white flame 
frequencies or diamond white flame energies as well. So when I opened this deck to get the card that she was uh, putting in my mind's eye, on the top of this whole deck, there was a, a card from another deck in there, which I'm not sure how it got in there. It was for this reading synchronistic. Remember this card said it was number eight. Well, the other card that was left in here was from a deck I created, and it's the Strength card. So, number eight in Tarot, I believe, is the Strength card, yeah. And this Strength card was on the top of the cards, and it says, I can handle this. And on the back it says, I am strong, even when my mind tells me otherwise. My experiences show me my soul's strength. I'm getting shivers. My experiences show me my soul's strength never leaves me and shines just when I need it, right? You guys are shining with this strengthened energy, this strengthened light frequency um, at the minute. And like we keep saying in many readings, actually, your your energy field being magnetized, pulling a lot of life force energy towards it and to it, a lot of that prana as well. So this is about you... Um, almost having experiences that feel the worthwhile that are balancing out energies of challenge or struggle that you've had to endure especially through the past months or winter seasons autumnal seasons you could have been going through a lot of heavy shifts or releasing or um, soul journeys that were um, quite intense energies she's saying that you did a beautiful beautiful job and because of this you're entering transformation for the dedication to choosing yourself, love, healing, and um, everything of that kind. So there's kind of experiences happening or that you're coming into that are kind of like this justice energy, like a celebration where when you're in them, it's like a, ah, oh, you know, like that was worth it. Like, I'm, I'm so happy. It's like smell the roses type of energy that she's really bringing you. Um, so yeah, that is the message coming through. She is a deity that works really closely with you. She's helping you to transform when it comes to your maybe physical self shifting to a deeper level of alignment within your within your energy as you integrate some more frequencies of this Venusian vibration. She's also helping you level up your craft, your creative abilities. Um, the things that maybe you've been working on and nurturing, like we said, that garden, uh, metaphorical or physical, things that you've been nurturing, she's really um, nourish nourishing and watering with you. You are going to bloom with the seasons and she is here active and present as we get ready to go into spring and summer seasons blooming with Mother Gaia. So I love you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this like bit of a shorter message and channeling for you. Like we say, gold is very significant as well. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys so wholly, so deeply. I'm so glad that as multi-dimensional beings can like create this corner cozy corner community for us to bounce connect and you know really have these kind of meetings on it on a more spiritual level um really connecting in the 3d on more of a 5d self layer of consciousness and connecting with each other as mirroring each other's souls and frequencies that we are embodying to bring here and ground down into the 3D plane, that you, we will continue to ground down into the 3D plane with your beautiful love, your beautiful creations, your beautiful knowledge, awareness, understandings, and I'm so grateful that we have every single one of you incarnated here with us, you beautiful star seeds. you are so um, needed and we're so grateful to have your presence incarnated down here on the 3d plane so i love you so much and have a beautiful beautiful rest of your day maybe connecting deeper with aphrodite basking in the flowers you know getting lost in that beautiful venus energy i love you so much Mwah. Mwah.